Among first-person shooters, two franchises blow all others away, Halo and Call of Duty. Which offers more bang for your buck? Let's give it a shot to find out. Halo vs. Call of Duty there have been 10 console games in the Halo franchise to date, beginning with Combat Evolved, which came out in November 2001. The first Call of Duty came out in October 2003, and there have been 12 more console entries in the series. Both are military first-person shooters, but while Call of Duty is set here on Earth, Halo takes place in an interstellar war between humans and aliens known as the Covenant. The weapons in both series are pretty badass. Call of Duty has the ACR, Intervention, and Desert Eagle. Halo has the Battle Rifle, Plasma Pistol, and Needler. Call of Duty gets bonus points for its zombie mode first introduced in World at War. To call these series popular would be a huge understatement. Halo games have sold more than 65 million copies worldwide, earning more than $3 billion. Call of Duty is even bigger, with 175 million copies sold and more than $10 billion in earnings. They're popular not just with gamers, but with critics. The Halo games have an average score of 85 on Metacritic. Call of Duty's average, also 85. There's more to these series than just the games. Both have spawned comic books, short films, and figurines. Halo helped bring machinima to the mainstream thanks to the popularity of the web series Red vs. Blue, and Halo is also known for its soundtracks. Breaking Benjamin, Incubus, and producer Nile Rodgers have contributed music, while Halo 4 is the highest charting video game soundtrack of all time. Finally, fans have collectively played more than 6 billion online hours of Halo and 25 billion hours of Call of Duty. That's nearly 3 million years. Talk about a time suck! So are you fighting on the side of Halo or Call of Duty? Let us know in the comments below.